your mucous membrane and this is the skin of the patient okay now in a normal mucous membrane desmoglein 3 is present in abundance throughout the epidermis this can be seen by the width of the bar diagram that they have shown while desmoglein is hardly present minimal or negligible amount of desmoglein 1 is present in the in the mucous membrane and even if it is present it is present in the upper part of the mucous membrane but usually hardly any desmoglein 1 is found in the mucous membrane then consider this to be the skin in skin you can see that desmoglein 1 it is present throughout the epidermis starting from the corneal layer till your basal layer and obviously it is much more in the corneal layer but in the basal layer also it is present in quite a good amount while desmoglein 3 it is present in the basal and the supra basal layer of the skin as compared to the mucous membrane where it was present throughout so in skin it is present only in the basal and the supra basal layer while no desmoglein 3 can be found in the upper part of the skin okay of the yes of the skin so for example in uh, your corneal layer etc now what does the desmoglein compensation theory states it says that whenever an autoantibody is attacking either of the desmogleins desmoglein 1 or 3 then the other autoantibody or then the other desmoglein will try to compensate for the lost desmoglein okay now we will learn it by example for example there is a patient who is having autoantibodies against desmoglein 1 only against desmoglein 1 so let us see what will happen in the mucous membrane in mucous membrane there is anyway hardly any desmoglein 1 present jo bhi thoda bahut hai whatever little desmoglein 1 is there if it gets attacked desmoglein 3 is present throughout the mucous membrane to compensate for the loss of the desmoglein 1 but in skin what will happen if there are auto antibodies against desmoglein 1 then what will happen this desmoglein 3 will compensate for the lost desmoglein 1 in the basal and the supra basal layer but it won't be able to compensate for desmoglein 1 in the upper layer the corneal layer of the epidermis okay so in pemphigus foliaceus autoantibodies are formed only against desmoglein 1 so they don't have any oral ulcers but yes they have skin ulcers, they have skin erosions, and that is because, and that too, they are very superficial. They are not deep ulcers, they are not deep erosions. So, uh, in skin, what will happen? It won't be a supra basal split, but they will have a subcorneal uh, split in pemphigus foliaceus. Now, let us uh, consider the second scenario in which the autoantibodies are formed against desmoglein 3. Now, what will happen in those patients? In mucous membrane, the whole desmoglein 3 will get damaged and hardly any desmoglein 1 is present to compensate for the lost desmoglein 3. So, such patients will definitely 100% develop uh, oral ulcers. Now, let us see what happens in the skin. In skin, the desmoglein 1 will compensate for the loss of uh, the desmoglein 3. So there won't be any skin lesions, but such patients will have oral erosion for sure. Okay. Now let us consider the third scenario. What is the third scenario where the patients are having autoantibodies against both desmoglein 1 and desmoglein 3? So in mucous membrane, definitely the whole of desmoglein 1 and desmoglein 3 is getting destroyed. These patients will have oral erosion for sure. Oral ulcers banengi banengi. In skin, what will happen? The desmoglein, uh, the autoantibodies are getting formed again both desmoglein 1 and desmoglein 3. So both of them are gone. There is no desmoglein present to compensate for each other. So such patients will also have skin lesions. So only those patients who have autoantibodies against both desmoglein 1 and desmoglein 3 will have cutaneous lesions. If somebody is have, and obviously along with the oral ulcers, somebody is having only autoantibodies against desmoglein 1 they will have only subcorneal uh, blisters those who are having autoantibodies only against desmoglein 3 will have only oral ulcers while no skin lesions is it clear